It's Pride Month and we are kicking it off with one of South Florida's very own. Good morning, SoFlo. Welcome to Inside South Florida. Comedian and actor Danny Francesi is loved all over the world for his work on the big and small screen, in addition to him continuing to uplift and champion the voices of the queer community. And it's our pleasure to have him in studio today on ISF. Danny Francesi, welcome to hey, Inside South Florida. everybody. I'm on a Santa. Good to be here. <laughs> uh, it's so good to have you here, man. Oh, uh, it's good to be anywhere live these days. Um, it is certainly a pleasure and a privilege to be performing in front of live audiences again and seeing you in the flesh. Yeah, well, we love you live and... Well, thank you, because me and Gaga, we live for the applause. So. Oh, well, let's give him a round of applause, guys. Oh, I'll take it. <laughs> I'm living, I'm living. Stop it, do it some more. Well, also, <laughs> applause and congratulations is in order because The Advocate has named you one of the 20 LGBTQ plus people advocating for change in 2022. How does that yes. feel? Um, it's definitely humbling and nice uh, to be singled out like that, you know, but I'm just trying to uh, do things that help forward our cause and uh, to connect my art somehow to... Uh, you know, uh, culture and the things that we need to get done on our agenda, so. You're such a strong, visible member of our community and also for allies when it comes to sharing our truth, standing up for what's right for us. Where does that come from? Because out of all the people I know, Danny, I think you are just so unapologetically yourself and so brave. I, is, that, is that weird to say? I, it's a little cringy for me because I, I lived a life of fear for so long. Like, I guess that's where this really comes from is I just don't want anyone to have to go through some of the things that I went through. You know, I did go to conversion therapy here in Florida. I uh, went through a, 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 a many, many years in the industry without being publicly out. Um, I had boyfriends that I called my roommates. And it's just sort of like, you know, um, I, I, I want a gentler, kinder, more open uh, future for young people. So that's sort of where I'm at. I made a lot of mistakes in my youth, you know, we're all not perfect. Uh, but going forward, like everything I try to do as a man, I'm trying to do with integrity and do something that paves the way for people who uh, may not have a, as lot of a voice as I have at this moment. Absolutely, you're a Yas Jesus podcast. Yas, <laughs> yes, Jesus. Uh, you're supposed to do, I've been dying all day for you to do that with you. Three, two, one. Yas, yes, Jesus. Jesus. Uh, it's a great podcast in that, like you said, you have been so giving of who you are and your authenticity, right? You are a man of faith. Well, I just feel like, you know, uh, at least have the choice. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we talk about a lot of things in uh, where choices get taken away when it comes to uh, a, a, a body rights with abortion, health care, all these other things, uh, being able to stay gay in school, all these other things. And here we are, like, this is something where when, when people come out of the closet, they're told you're not allowed to have your God anymore. Okay. Like, if I ask you what your prized possession is and you say, oh, my little puffy, my little puffy scruffy or my Louis Vuitton carry all or whatever it is if I said hey can I have it you'd be like no but as soon as we come out someone says well I'm gonna take your God and everyone's like all right we give up God so easily and I just think that people should know that God loves you no matter what and that choice is still there uh, for you to uh, be gay and love God absolutely and the podcast you can stream it everywhere yeah it's uh, yashjesuspod.com um, it is just a look at the Bible th um, and Judeo-Christianity through a rainbow uh, perspective so yeah. You're fresh from DragCon. DragCon yes. was back, but in 2019, well, you're always a DragCon, but in 2019, you did, did something really wonderful. You raised over $2,000. Yeah, we raised $2,200 uh, for HIV and AIDS with the Elizabeth Taylor AIDS Foundation. I took a uh, uh, denim jacket and had it signed by all of the queens, um, and then we auctioned it off. So this year, we went around, and we have a new jacket uh, that we got signed for the Trevor Project. I haven't, I, 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 we haven't auctioned it off yet, but we will. Um, at one of their big events, so we'll see what happens. We'll see what um, happens. It's just a nice thing, extra. You know, it's like, again, it's like I'm walking around, I'm saying hello to them. Why not have them sign something, and why not auction it? There is always one more thing we can do, and I think Elizabeth Taylor really has been the inspiration for that for me. Working with the foundation and her grandchildren so closely, I've seen how much one person could do. Not only be a legend and a movie star and everything else, but she really, uh, you know, did the little things that counted that moved needles. So that's like really what I'm trying to do. So it's little nuances, right? Yeah, it's just sometimes it's the little tiny things that really can move a mountain. You have an incredible acting career. <laughs> and, and, uh, and well, li Dan, listen, you do. I, I, stop it, stop, stop right now. But Italian mom, okay, this character has like, that has blown up on YouTube. People just want more of it. And I, oh, but and you're giving I, us more. I know, but I keep going, oh, I don't want to shave my beard. And then I keep having, like people beg me and then I'm like, fine. I love the gays. I like Magnum P.I. He's gorgeous with that mustache. Here's the thing with perfume. You spray it and you walk through it. You don't swim in it. There's this black lady in my building, goes right in my nostrils, right in my nostrils so we can't freaking breathe. I can't take it. I don't know, that's just not my thing. To kiss a girl is like 
friggin'. Is that even a thing? What does that do? What? Okay, so Danny's shaving his beard. Italian <laughs> mom is coming back. Right, I'm live, doing, yes, live it's, on stage. Italian mom loves you. Um, a full uh, one-person show, um, celebrating uh, just all kinds of moms, but especially those uh, loud Italian uh, northeastern moms. <laughs> um, and they'll be playing at the Seven Angels Theater in Connecticut, and hopefully uh, everywhere else soon. Yeah. So uh, you can go to uh, on Facebook. There's an Italian mom has her own page, facebookcom <laughs> Italian mom. She has her own page. And you could go there and talk to her. No, you know, she'll make sure that you know all about the details. All the details. It's Pride Month. Uh, what is that message you want to send out to the community? You know, I used to call gay pride gay hide. It would be like the day that I wanted to stay in the house and I didn't want to be around everybody and be afraid that like, I don't know what I was afraid of, but I think that now um, it feels like such a celebration and I wish that for everyone. I wish everyone could go and feel free and be themselves and be around their loved ones and just uh, celebrate how far we come and concentrate on all the things that we still have to do because the fight's not over. Danny, we are not worthy. Where can we go for everything Danny Franzese? Uh, you can go to danielfranzese.com or you can check me out at What's Up Danny on Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, blackpeoplemeek.com, JDate, <laughs> Farmers Only, or Venmo. I mean, pretty much anywhere that you are online. You forgot uh, Zell. Snapchat and Zell, <laughs> um, all of it. All right, you guys, Danny Francesi, bringing the laughs on Inside South Florida. We'll be right back.